What's up, you bold beauty boss? So if you don't know me, this is your boy, Wit. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to talk about today how we can learn from these milli gazilli billy dollar businesses without spending the milli billy gazilli dollars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what we're going to do. How to help you make more money, more money, more money. The other day, I was shopping at Kohl's. I go to Kohl's for t-shirts because I love crazy, fun, simple, goofy t-shirts like this. Upon checkout, checkout, they go, excuse me, sir, would you like to save 20% on your, your checkout today by signing up for our Kohli, Schmoli, Bagoli card? And I'm like, no, mofo, I don't. But they're like, you spent $150, 20% is $30 that you can get back right now, right now, $30. If I found, if I found $30 on the street, if you found $30 on the street, would you pick that money up? I would venture to say yes. I would too. What did I do? I gave those mofos, I gave those mofos my information signed up for a card now is Coles gonna use that information for my good or for their good probably they're good they're gonna solicit do this do that got a credit card they they, they want me to skip a bill so now I'm paying them interest or, or whatever it may be however so I realized that as a business person Coles did that for them what can we in the beauty industry, you as an esthetician, learn from this? It's simple. At the point of checkout is a great opportunity to bribe. That's basically what it is. It's a bribe saying, hey, you give me this, I give you that. You give me this, I give you that. Cool. Coles wanted my information and sign up for that thingamabob in exchange for money off. Now, this is what I would do as an esthetician. For example, I believe one of the strongest indicators of success or that help people decide to book with you is how many reviews you got. People go on Google, people go on Facebook and they look at your reviews. One of the major concerns that I see in this industry is not enough estheticians have enough Google reviews. You could say, hey, you know, send me, can, can you do a Google review? Dude, people are like me, lazy as F. Lazy as F, don't really want to do it. Lord knows I get so many freaking forms to fill out online. I got freaking paperwork up the wazoo. I, I don't even want to look in that direction. Like, I won't even, here, I'll show you. I don't care. Look at that. You see all that? That's all paperwork that needs to get done now, right? Do I want more freaking work? No. However, Coles got me. How do they get me right then and there? They said, you can save this much money. So as an esthetician, what, what you have to go, okay, what is a goal that you have? Let's just say one of the goals you have is to get more Google reviews. At the point of checkout, check, check, check. Check it out. <laughs> At the point of checkout, I would say, hey, you know, would you like to save, Lord have mercy, I get so many freaking calls. Would you like to save $5 off your service right now? Or would you like this free travel size cleanser right now? If the, you know, right at that point, so would you like to do that right now in exchange for a Google review? I would do it if you go, hey, you know, if, here, here's a link for the Google review. Do this, you know, boom, 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 five stars, bam. Here's your $5 off your service. Cleanser, blah, blah, blah. In chess, this is called a gambit. A gambit is, the definition of a gambit is a move for advantage. Meaning you are doing this for the long-term thing. I know so many people and oh, it, it hurts my heart. Literally, it hurts my heart. Little, oh, I can't afford to give $5. Yo, the reason you cannot afford to give $5 is because you're not doing things like this for the long term. 
This isn't a short, this isn't a sprint. This is a marathon. If you're looking to be in business for a while, you know, if, if you look at, uh, let's just say the average esthetician has, I'll do the stats one day, but I think it's like less than freaking 20 Google reviews, right? Well, if you had 120 Google reviews, 120, let's just say, you get, you'll be higher on Google. You'll be higher on the SEO stuff. You'll be, you'll be, you'll, you it's just more proof that you are good at what you do, right? So it could be that if you can go, hey, depending on what you want, again, you can do that for a Google review, for a Facebook review. You can do that for referrals. Go, hey, refer three of your friends, put them, give me their contact, their name, and da, 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 right here. And you get $5 off. People will be like, hey, I'll sell out my friends for $5. And again, it's something good. Do you have to follow up with those friends? Yes. Can And I have a special hack that I used for that. That's just genius, 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 genius. Again, do this, do this, do this. You can do that for that. So it's, it's whatever your end game is. But at that point of checkout, just say, hey, for $5 off, you know, get, leave me a Google review for $5 off have a, a QR code right there they do with their phone, you can help them set it up. You can do so much right then and right there that over time, these things multiply. Over time, they do it. So one time you do $5 off for a Google review. Next time you do $5 off for a referral. Next time you do $5 off for the some other review. I don't know, right? You do a $5 off for a check-in. Check-in for $5 off. Go ahead, check in real quick and da da da. Because then their friends see where they're at. They're like, oh, where are you at, girl? Oh, God, I got my skin done. I got my, my, my pretty, pretty. I got my lashes, lash stuck. I got my brows, browsy. Right, whatever it may be. And then they're like, oh, where are you? You know, they checked in at so and so. Now, because that, and I, I'm not telling you, it's powerful, especially on the personal Facebook page. When they check in somewhere, all their friends will get like a notification type. Or then when they're scrolling, so and so Sarah is at Wick's uh, beauty shop. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it, but whatever. Right. But does that make sense? So at the point of checkout, give something, something to get something for the long term, long term. Colds is not stupid for giving out 30 bucks is a lot, yo. Somebody could buy whatever and they'll get 20% off or, or whatever the number may be. That's a lot of cash. Why are they, why are they giving $30 for this? Because they understand the long-term game of give this much now, but we know we're going to get this much later. Boom. Word to your mother. All right. So that's your tip of the day. Happy Monday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay woke. Whoa, whoa. Get money. Be amazing because it pays so well. Use this tactic. I'm telling you, if large multi-billion dollar companies are doing this, they've tested it. They've tried it. They've spent a lot of money and they continue to do it because it works. So you can work it too if you work it, twerk it, woo, woo. Oh, you don't have to twerk it, but I'm just throwing it out there. Be amazing because it pays so well. Peace.